Hey guys, how are we doing? We're good? Yeah. Good, good. Uh, yeah, so my name is Matt Lowe's. The naval slang for a sailor is a Matt Lowe. And you know what? I should have joined the Navy because a life out at sea, I think the uniform would look good on me. And I like to fuck men. <laughs> no, you're surprised. Imagine how I felt. Because I remember when I realized, because I was like this. Wait, wait, stop. Both of you, stop. <laughs> is this gay? <laughs> oh, it is. Oh, that is surprising. Carry on. <laughs> uh, I'm, I, see, I'm actually bisexual. Uh, I like to think of my sexuality in the way that I think of apples. So, I like a pink lady, but I also like cocks. Sometimes a Granny Smith. <laughs> People say to me, being bisexual, that's just being greedy. Uh, and I am greedy. I really am. I'm greedy, but I'm greedy in the way that I want all the stereotypes associated with both gay and straight men. Like, why can't I watch the Silverstone Grand Prix followed by RuPaul's Drag Race? Why can't I watch Bad Boys 2 followed by Mean Girls? Which are actually two of my favorite pornos. <laughs> Sometimes calendar girls, you know. Um, but, but why can't I do some keepy uppies and then watch Keeping Up with the Kardashians? In fact, I do know the answer to that. I can't do keepy uppies. <laughs> I, I have no coordination whatsoever. That's why I don't do skiing, because I'm like this. Right, if you're unfamiliar with the Urban Dictionary definition of skiing, that's a joke about me wanking off to two men. So, <laughs> the best punchlines are the ones you have to explain. So, um, guys, I've, uh, I've recently been dumped. Thank you. Most of you said, ah, oh, and I, some of you stayed silent, and I think you were like, yeah, that's fair enough, actually. Uh, I would do the same. Uh, cheers. Um, but no, like I, but my ex-boyfriend, I like I'll tell you what happened. So basically, um, he wanted an open relationship. Now I thought that an open relationship would be, you know, I could have the odd hookup every now and again. Um, but in his mind, an open relationship was that he would open another relationship before closing the previous one. I know, right? So it's, it's like if you're really bad with money like, and you get into your overdraft, just open a bank, another bank account uh, and then just ignore all the messages from your previous bank account <laughs> saying, come back to me, I still love you. <laughs> I'm fine, I'm fine, <laughs> I'm fine, it's okay. No, no, because seriously, like, I, I like, I mean, I have no words for him. I, I really don't. I mean, I could call him a prick, but I quite like pricks. <laughs> I could call him a cunt, but it's the same problem, you know? <laughs> Nothing works. Tit, no, that doesn't work. Arsehole, no, none of it works. <laughs> um, but I mean, like, it came to a point, like, I, I've got no regrets, but it did come to a point in our relationship uh, where a line in the sand was needed, which, um, on reflection, was a terrible waste of cocaine. <laughs> Just imagine. Oh, fuck it. Um, so, after we broke up, I went on holiday. Uh, I had to get myself away. I went to Greece. Uh, I, um, and you know what? If I'm honest with you guys, I was looking for a Greek god. Like, I'm talking like muscles. I'm talking like Hercules. That's what I was looking for. Um, but I actually ended up with herpes. <laughs> you know what? I, I'm, I'm back on the apps now. I'm back on the apps. Uh, I've got two favorite apps. Uh, I'm, a, like, I'm on Grindr, obviously. 
Um, and uh, oh, good to see you again, actually. Yeah, nice. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, didn't recognize you with your clothes on for a second there, so. <laughs> um, but yeah, so, uh, so Grinder, obviously, and um, my other favorite app is Pokemon Go. No, <laughs> sorry, was that a clanger? <laughs> um, but yeah, so, but they're, but they're very similar when you think about it because I, I'm walking around with my balls ready. I end up having a squirtle and a jigglypuff. And I always catch something. Every time. Um, so, uh, so, so, oh God, right, okay, we're, yeah, we're, I'm getting stuff thrown at me now. This is going great. This is brilliant. Love it. Um, but yeah, so, uh, yeah, so after, yeah, I mean, where I'm from, like, I'm from in London. I'm not from around these parts. I don't know if you noticed, but yeah, I'm, I'm so, um, yeah, you could, could call me a Southern fairy because it's pretty much true, let's be honest. But, um, but yeah, so, like there's a lot of delivery drivers on uh, on Grinder because um, it makes sense really. Like I'm talking like your Uber Eats and your Deliveroo's, you know. Like, it makes sense because you know they're going from place to place anyway, you know. And one minute they're giving someone a, uh, a you know a burger or something like that, and the next minute they're giving someone a, a pepperoni passion. So. Um, but go, I, I, I'm trying to stay away from that. I'm trying to stay away from uh, those sorts of things, like uh, bad food, you know. Because recently I got ill, um, uh, like really badly ill. I had, um, uh, I had diarrhea, I'm not going to lie. I had diarrhea. Um, I lost a lot of weight. It was great. But also, it wasn't so great, yeah? Because, I mean, I was in a bad way, and I had, um, basically, the doctors diagnosed it, as uh, Giardia. Does anyone give me a cheer if you've heard of that? No, nobody's heard of it. Cool, cool. Sometimes, sometimes there's a few medical people in. Um, just shows it's quite exotic. Yeah. So, um, so basically, Giardia is a um, like some people get a stomach bug. I got a stomach parasite. Yeah, it was. It's spicy. I tell you what, it's spicy. But I. Yeah, I wasn't. I wasn't in a good way, and I, like I actually ended up in hospital. But, like that's quite yeah. But also, I'm a bit of a mummy's boy, so uh, and I had broken up with my ex by this time, so I had to tell someone, didn't I, what was going on? So I was like, oh, "Mom, this is this is happening," and uh, and obviously she's like, "Oh yeah, well keep me updated." And the doctors couldn't work out where I got it from. They were like, "Have you been abroad recently? Have you?" Yeah, and I was like, "No, no, no." Uh, and they, yeah, basically, until they started asking me about my sexual preferences. So, basically, I got a stomach parasite through rimming. <laughs> yeah, I went there. Literally, I went there, right? So, <laughs> um, so yeah, basically, that's that's what happened to me. And but the problem is that I told my mum. I was in hospital, and she was like, oh, what did they say? I can't lie to my mum. I can't lie to my mum. Um, so, uh, so I told her that I had eaten something that hadn't been prepared properly. <laughs> her response was, um, her response was, you've been on those apps again, haven't you? I was like, oh, shit, I've been, I've been rumbled. Said you've, I told you you should sort yourself out in future. I mean, to be fair, Craig from Uber Eats was the best fuck I've ever had. So, <laughs> guys, you've been amazing. My name's Matt Lowe's. Thank you very much. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, give it for Matt Lowe's. <laughs>